Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about the ROI of a lot of the top different cryptocurrencies as measured from the depths of despair on March 13th, 2020. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we're measuring it from March 13th because that is when the asset class as a whole bottomed. Okay, so what has the ROI been from that point? And here we have a lot of the different cryptocurrencies that we follow off and on on the channel. Some of them we don't really follow, uh, but these are a lot of the different cryptocurrencies in the top in the top coins. And I know a lot of you guys follow some of the ones that I've listed here as well. So the idea that we, we've been talking about for a while, we've been doing this series on cryptocurrency ROI as measured from the depths of despair for several months. And the idea is, do you have racehorses, racehorses or do you have donkeys? And the idea is that in general, the donkeys are more likely to continue being donkeys than the racehorses are to become donkeys. So there are there can be a few exceptions. Obviously, this one is a day old. This chart is a day old because we don't have the, the daily close on, on XRP coming back up uh, a, a significant amount before coming back down. But as measured from a day ago or so, you can see that there's only been a few that are still outperforming Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is the yellow line, which is essentially cutting through a lot of these other coins that have not been performing as well. And if you have a project, if, you, if you're if you interested in one of the projects that has not been performing as well, then it doesn't mean that you have to cut it. It just means you have to take a longer look at, at you know, what are the implications if it continues to underperform. This is not financial advice, but we've been talking on here a long time about the main ones that 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 I hold are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, ADA, and DOT, and they are among some of the best performers. Now, there are other good performers that have risen through the ranks. I know a lot of you guys are wanting me to talk about them. We'll probably talk about some of them soon, but out of these that we've been following for well over a year, they are among the top coins as measured from the depths of despair. So if we if we just look at the cream of the crop. Let's just look at the ones that are currently above Bitcoin in terms of their ROI. And you might say, well, why above Bitcoin? My theory, my thesis on this is that generally, well, maybe not thesis, but my, my thinking is that if it can't outperform Bitcoin, then why do you hold it, right? Why do you pay for more volatility, more risk, if you're ultimately going to get a lower return? Um, and, and that generally is the case for a lot of the coins. Also, if I'm holding a lot of altcoins that can't outperform Ethereum at various phases during the market cycle, then I have to consider the implications of holding those. So what I would like to see, generally speaking, is I would like to see Ethereum outperform Bitcoin and then whatever altcoins I'm holding to outperform Ethereum. Now, obviously, this comes and goes uh, at various phases of the cycle, depending on how Bitcoin and Ethereum are doing. Uh, but you can see what is the top performing coin so far out of all the ones we've measured since March. Which one's the top? ADA, Cardano. And, and it has been the top for, for a, a while. Uh, we've been looking at it for weeks and weeks and it remains to be the top. A lot of people will, will complain about it. Say, well, Cardano doesn't do anything. It was less than two cents in March. Less than two cents in March. And now it's over, it's around 40 cents. So the idea that, our, that Cardano doesn't do anything is simply not true. Um, it just, you know, it has these amazing runs and then it cools off for a few months and then it has these amazing runs and then it cools off for a few weeks. But as measured from the depths of despair, Cardano is among the top performing coins, whether you like it or not. Um, and for me, Cardano is primarily a hedge against Ethereum. I do own a lot more Ethereum than ADA, but it doesn't mean I don't want ADA to perform well. It's my primary hedge against Ethereum and I would like to see ADA do very well. I also own Polkadot, but we're not, we don't have it on here because it was launched later in the year, not on March 13th, 2020. So the coins so far that we've been following that have outperformed Bitcoin as of today, Ethereum, Link, ADA, XLM, and VeChain. Those are the ones out of the ones that we originally followed. We actually had a couple more on here that we were following initially. EOS and Tron, I just completely cut them off off the chart because it was the, the chart was getting too cluttered and and sometimes you just kind of cut cut some of them off. Um, but out of all these that we've been following, 
the ones that are performing the best, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, ADA, XLM, and VeChain. Out of these six coins, the only one I have not done a dedicated video on is XLM. So maybe it deserves a dedicated video. And I know there's a few other coins that are that are climbing the ranks that people want videos on. Maybe we'll get to them, maybe we won't. But hopefully by taking a step back and looking at the ROI of a lot of these different coins, you can appreciate how far they've come. Link is a champ. You know, it, it's it's consolidating above its prior all-time high. And I'm, you know, as long as Bitcoin doesn't kick the bucket in the short term, I'm optimistic on Link. So hopefully Bitcoin does not have an immediate dump down to the 20 week moving average. If it doesn't, then hopefully the rest of the altcoins that we follow will continue to shine. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. We have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think about this analysis and what else you would like to see. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.